They are the hills of coal cream Where miners work and dwell also known as Shut Up in the Mines of Coal Creek or Shut Up in Coal Creek Mine. How do we play this piece? First of all, the banjo is tuned all the way up to standard pitch. F sharp, D, F sharp, A, D. Or, you know, in that neighborhood. Close enough for us. Uh, one recording I do want to mention is, uh, I, have, I have it on this disc here. This is the Oxford American uh, music album they put out once in a while. This is for the state of Kentucky. They do it state by state and it, I think they keep it. It's usually southern music. So this one's Kentucky. Track number 12 is Brett Ratliff from 2017 and he called it Shut Up in the, in the Mines of Coal Creek. Shut Up in the Mines of Coal Creek. So check that out. Check out Brett Ratliff's version. I learned it from George Gibson. Uh, you probably find some other people doing it. I know there's a, a 1920s recording. It's a couple guys. It's vocal with guitar accompaniment, just doing a pretty straight uh, cowboy chord uh, waltz version of it. I forget the names of those guys, but you can find that pretty readily. I think they called it Shut Up in the, in the Coal Creek Mine. Shut Up in Coal Creek Mine. <laughs> when I learned it from George, he just called it Coal Creek. So that's all I call it. I think that's easier. Because then you've got Coal Creek and then Coal Creek March. And we know we're talking about two different pieces. If you want to learn more about the history, just look up Freighterville, Tennessee, or a Coal Creek Mine Explosion. Or if you want to really get into the, into the, the weeds, look up the Coal Creek Mine War. 1890, I believe, is when that happens. So there was a lot of violence that led up to the conditions that that, that, that led to these explosions and disasters. And what this song is, is actually about is an early 1900s explosion where I think 200 men and boys were killed. They had a lot of young boys that worked in the mine. When George played the song for me, he played a straight, you know, typical down picking overhand style like this. thought it sounded prettier uh, two finger picked but the whole thing is on the second fret you'll see me sometimes with my middle finger I'll note the third string at the third fret it's just because it makes a nice pretty chord there it's either the difference between this or this it's very subtle so you don't have you can pretty much anytime you see me in this song go down to the third fret here you can ignore that is it's it's that's just me being picky um, but it's, it's on the second fret, all back and forth. Starts on the open bass string. What hills, what hills, my true love. They burn with the fires of hell. They are the hills of Coal Creek. Something like that. Where miners work and dwell, something like that. I got a little distracted there, but you can figure out your own way. You know, again, I don't want anybody to, uh, you can if you want, but it's your goal should not necessarily be to try to copy my version note for note or George Gibson's or uh, Brett Ratliff's version or them guys from the 20s. You know, make up your own version. So I'm giving you all the ingredients you need. The tuning is F sharp D, F sharp A, D, which we call the Rubin tuning. And I'm telling you, the whole thing is played on the second fret here. Oh, other information I can tell you that will help you research this. It's the same melody as a song that I learned earlier in life as High Top Shoes. That's in double C tuning. Uh, a little old banjo songster secret that I will share with y'all um, is that any song on the banjo, on the five string banjo, if you can play it in double C, It'll also sound, if you want to make it sound like darker and creepier, 
to retune over into the Rubin tuning, F sharp D, F sharp A T, A D, and vice versa. Any song you can play in that Rubin tuning, it'll also play in double C. So just a little bit, something for you to, to play with. And if you have trouble singing it in, in the tuning you know it in, like in a given song in double C or, or whatever, try it in the, in the alternate tuning, you might find that then you can easily sing it. So a little something for you to experiment with there. Um, so you can also play this song, you could play Coal Creek in double C. Uh, but anyhow, that, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know. It's simple. Um, it's all on the, the, the second fret. should be able to figure that out. Um, we're going to do a close-up of that as well, so, uh, so you'll see a slowed down version of both my hands doing it. And, uh, and also, FYI, this lovely little banjo is actually for sale. This belongs to a friend of mine. He's trying to sell it. It's a, it's a short 24-inch scale Fairbanks and Cole from the 1880s. Um, it's just strung with fishing line right now, and it's actually a joy to play, and it has a nice little uh, report to it. It sounds great. If anybody's interested in purchasing this banjo, it is for sale. Okay, everybody, thanks for looking. I'll really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Um, leave us a comment or a question or anything down there. Help us out. And uh, check us out on patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks. And probably one of the best things you can do is share this video with some people who might be interested in it. Okay, thanks a lot.